We have our first look at the Avatar The Way of Water art book giving us a brand new look or a different look should I say on Jake and Atiri as well as Tolkien and Kiri. Avatar Theory here, we hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day and the following information was posted on Amazon UK where they posted some previews of the art book and I'm not really sure if they were supposed to post this or not but inside the art book or the previews does give us a glimpse of not only different look of Jake and Kiri and the Tolkien but also a pregnant Natiri. Now I do want to warn you it might contain some spoilers so if you do not want to see any of this then do click away now but jumping into the very back cover of the art book you can see we have this beautiful image of Kiri and an Elu and looking at this it doesn't seem like this is actual art it seems like this is a still from the movie. As you can see there on the right hand side is the cover of the art book which I discussed in a previous video where you saw the Tolkien and Luwak. So looking at the back it does have Kiri and an Elu. Now looking at the text on the side it says the following quote The official companion to Avatar The Way of Water features exclusive concept art and interviews with the artists and filmmakers. The art of Avatar The Way of Water takes fans into the artistic development of the next installment in James Cameron's record-breaking phenomenon Avatar. This visual feast showcases hundreds of never-before-seen pieces of concept art revealing the film's fascinating creatures, characters, costumes, vehicles, weapons and locations in unparalleled detail. Discover the inspiration, challenges and breakthroughs that made this return to Pandora possible with insightful interviews from key creatives including writer, producer and director James Cameron and producer John Lando, with the foreword by filmmaker Robert Rodriguez. End quote. Now, it is exciting when you see an art book and, you know, it's not only just uh, different images, but you actually know that there's going to be uh, comments and thoughts from the producers and writers and creative people involved in the making of this of this fantastic movie and this visual feast that we're going to see on this December the 16th. But again, looking at this image of Kiri and an Ilu really, really makes me excited to see this in the IMAX. Now moving on to the next image that was posted on the Amazon UK website was this image of the Tolkien and you can see that it seems like it's the Metkayina clan at the top and the bottom there. Now if you zoom in at the very bottom where it says page 176 it does say quote above Tolkien celebration concept end quote. Now this makes me wonder what exactly is this Tolkien celebration all about because it says it's a Tolkien celebration concept and you can see there it looks almost like you can see there's a lot of uh, a lot of Navi in the back there kind of faded and you can see the the Tolkien is like upside down kind of like happy and you can see there's all sorts of they have this strange almost like this this cloth like clothing so I'm not entirely sure if this is maybe maybe the when when the Tolkien is comes of a certain age or or maybe when they when they bond with the Navi or something like that because if you look at this Tolkien in spe specifically you can see there right at the center it has it, it almost looks at the center there and at the back towards its tail it almost looks like it has some sort of harness it doesn't look like it's part of the token it doesn't look like it's part of its skin or its body it looks like some sort of harness or some sort of some sort of saddle almost where the where the navi would maybe attach itself if it rides the token so maybe this celebration the token celebration that they're referring to could be uh, like i said coming of age of the token maybe maybe when when the when the maybe there's some sort of ceremony when the Midkaina navi becomes a first certain age then they go out to to connect to bond with the with the I almost said Ikran but to bond with the Tolkien much like the Ometakaya does when they become a certain age and then they have to essentially go find their Ikran and connect with it that is also like a almost like a rite of passage thing so maybe maybe the Tolkien celebration or oh, that uh, is something similar to that where like I said the Metkayina kind of connects with the Tolkien but re regardless this image is really really stunning this wide image it just says the oceans and I can just imagine this if you have a frame like this on your wall how beautiful it'll look and I can just imagine like I want to watch this image because I have a 4k TV that has uh, one of those uh, lights at the back that changes color according to the image on screen so I just want to view this image on my TV right now to see to see the beautiful blue colors bouncing off the walls of the back but there is another image that I want to talk about 
And that is this one right here that shows Natiri and Jake and some early concepts of Natiri and Jake. Now, we know that there was a deleted scene in the original Avatar movie that did show Natiri pregnant, which I spoke about in a previous video. But this one gives us a little bit of a concept. It, it is the still of Natiri where she, uh, it almost looks like it's the one of the stills from the first movie where she's about to shoot Jake, where she first sees Jake. It looks like it's, it's that scene, but it, it with a photoshopped uh, belly, basically, it kind of, it kind of almost look. If you look at the image of Natira being pregnant, it almost looks fake in a way. But this is from the official art book, and this is early concepts. So this does make me wonder if we're gonna see kind of like if we're gonna see the beginning of the the second movie. If there's gonna be like a almost like a, a montage of of time that that has passed since the first movie, and then we're gonna see Natira pregnant, and then it's gonna of course show the children being born, and it's gonna show the different children and how they how they find spider and all that so considering they have a concept of Natiri being pregnant it does like I said it does make me wonder if we're gonna see her pregnant in 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 like a, almost flashbacks from in the beginning of the movie flashbacks showing us a different time and you can see there on the right hand side is a concept of Natiri with looks like to be the the Metkaina outfit because we did see a similar outfit on the figure that I spoke about yesterday and also you can see there at the bottom left is also an early concept of Natiri. But looking at the, the text at the top there, it does say, quote, At the top of the Sully family tree is the matriarch Natiri, whom Scott labels as the most resistant to adaptation. She says this is obvious in the first act of the new film, where Natiri's clothing and hair reflects very subtle alterations to her overall look from Avatar. It's only when Natiri is forced to leave her home that her exterior presentation undergoes more dramatic changes. End quote. Now, what's interesting that is about that part is where it says that, you know, the first act of the new film is Natiri is more resistant to adaptations and basically changes and stuff like that, which also adds to, to the article that was mentioned quite a few months ago, where it said that Natiri kind of resents uh, Spider being a human or there's some sort of resentment kind of going on there. So that's going to be very interesting, interesting conversation and just see where Natiri is at the beginning of the second movie, you know, after 13 years has passed and um, looking at the clothing again it kind of I'm not entirely sure if that it, it kind of like I said it kind of reminds me of the Metkaina outfit but it might be uh, it might be more Omotakaya clan I'm not entirely sure we'll have to we'll have to wait and see until we see more of the artwork but I do like the the art the, the clothing regardless now moving on to Jake, you can definitely see that he has a very different look in in these two in these two images. You can see that the the character, the model, is the same, but he has a more military style going on in the second image than in the first image. And the first image really reminds me of Natiri's father that that died in the first movie. He had that uh, featherish uh, kind of shoulder pads, and it really has the same kind of look with his hairstyle. His hairstyle in this image looks very similar to that of the second movie so I'm not entirely sure if this is more uh, aimed at the second movie or if this is just concepts where they wanted to go with Jake but looking at the text it says quote with Jake his look boils down to everything being functional and having a purpose Jake could care less Scott says laughing he doesn't really change until it's almost forced on him it's a symbol that he has become part of the Metkaina end quote now again it does say uh, that Jake is part of the Metkaina obviously so I do think that the clothing displayed here by both Natiri and Jake is probably more Metkaina than Ometakaya. And looking at the bottom there, the text just said opposite top left pregnant Natiri concept, opposite bottom left Natiri bust, opposite bottom middle Natiri concept, and opposite right Natiri costume art. And then of course on the right side it says above Jake costume art and then right Jake battle look costume art. Now, of course, with the battle look, he, it is very similar to the look he has at the end of the first Avatar movie. He has those those orange feathers in his hair. So likely this was more concepts that was going to be used in the first Avatar movie. And thinking about it, it kind of makes sense because there was that deleted scene of Natira being pregnant. So with her having this concept of, you know, um, with with there being a concept of Natira being pregnant, it does make sense. But quite a bit of information to get from these images that 
being posted on Amazon uh, UK. Like I said, I'm not sure if it was leaked or if it was on purpose, but it still gives us an insight into some stuff, especially Kiri and the Tolkien and the, the Tolkien celebration and the back of the art book looks absolutely stunning. But what do you think about this so far? What do you think of Jake's looks and Kiri's look? What do you think of the, the Tolkien celebration? What is the Tolkien celebration? Let me know your thoughts below and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.